Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam Bob Tech, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use Microsoft Word on Mac. So this is a new series I'm going to be starting. It's how to use Microsoft Office on Macs. So when you open up Microsoft Word, you're going to see this page. Now you can do a Word document, Word notebook layout, Word publishing layout, banner calendar, anything like that. But we're going to start with just a Word document. Just click choose on the Word document. So now this should pop up. So uh, just start typing anything you want. So I like dogs. So that's just one sentence. So now let's edit it. Let's say, let's say you wanted to bold it. So you could go up here and click the B, which is for bold, or you could do Command B. And that's just an easier way of doing it on your keyboard. Now italics, you could do you could click the italic button or you could click command I. Also italics. Underline, click the underline button or command U and so on. So uh to change the font size, just go up to the number up there and just change it to any size you want. Change the font itself, so the way the it looks. Just go up to there, and you can choose from all these. So I'm going to choose this. It looks like that. <coughs> or you, here, I'll do one that we can actually read. Here, Apple Casual. So now, if you want to send it, center the text just click this button here center text align text to the right and then left if you want to bullet the text just go up to the bullet number multi level I don't know I'll we'll use that but you might Now what if you wanted to change the color of the text? Just go to font color. I'll change it to blue. And a tip is to do any of the changing to your sentence, any editing to the font or anything like that, you have to have the sentence highlighted or whatever you want to be changed highlighted. So what if you wanted to, now let's move on to something else. Let's move on to inserting. So what if you wanted to insert a text box? Just go insert text box. This is a text box here. I just added my I like dogs because that was highlighted in it. Now I'll just type in here. I'll just type random stuff. And look at that. It doesn't go on. It just stays in the text box. If I move the text box over. So that's good if you want to have like two columns. And just do two text boxes. You can insert a text box right here. Now you have two columns. All right. All right. What if you wanted to insert a shape? <coughs> so you just go up to insert shape. I'm gonna insert a rectangle. So you just you just draw it anywhere you want. Insert rectangle. Let's insert one of these things. And insert that and a cool thing you can do with this is you can put a text box inside of the rectangle so now you can type in the rectangle which is really cool if you want to do like a a spider a spider whatever something like that one of those like charts you get on the theme Just changes all the color and just changes everything to it. Now let's let's open a new document and start something different. So let's move on to tables. <coughs> so um, a table, to insert a table, you just go over to the tables tab and click the new button. 
the arrow right there and just make it as big as you want. I'm going to make mine three and three. So you can just make it bigger. Now these are like themes you can make your table. So you can change it to that, 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 any of these themes. I'm just going to leave it as normal. So with the table, you can just type, I'll just type Bob. And then a great way instead of just having to click right to the next table, uh, the, to the next cell you can just click tab and it'll go right to the next cell so it's just really fast typing like like really fast now to delete the cell you just highlight all the cells you want to delete and just click that click ok I'll delete it. and then just to delete the whole table just do that <coughs> now about charts so I'm going to do a column chart. You just go to the charts tab and click column. And you can do whatever you want. Let's do 3D. So it will open up Excel. Just loading up now. Here we are. So this is my... Let's see if I can make this a little better for you guys. Alright, so this is the the chart right now. And uh, so this is where. So to change the category, which is down there, the name of it, <clears throat> I am going to change it to. Let's do. Um, videos, I don't know, something like that. So series 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's do. Views. Views, um, comments, comments, and rates. Um, so videos, let's do, uh, here, let's actually name the videos. Let's name a video, let's do video, video one. Video two, let's just do one, two right now. All right, so um, so now uh, look at this. So let's change the how many views. Let's say on this video I got one thousand views. Then it will go up like that. So it changes automatically for you. Say I got four hundred views. That one will go up like that. So that's how you change the charts and how to do it. So you need Excel for that. And it'll open up automatically when you're done. So, so you can just exit Excel when you're done. And there's your chart. And this is the same with any kind of chart. So pie chart, just insert a pie chart. And it'll change automatically for you. You can edit it and everything. It's a great, it's a great program. It's really easy to use, so that's about it for now, guys. So remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.